for today I'm going to be showing you how to recreate this look on a budget. Alright, so let's just get into it. So the first thing that we're going to be looking at is this mirror that's on the wall in the picture. Um, I found one on Amazon that is almost identical to it. There's like small differences. So here you can see that this one is actually $38.86, which really when I was like looking for mirrors is not a bad price for, you know, any mirror really. All right, and the next thing that we're gonna be looking at is these lines that are on the wall behind the mirror. If you own the property where your store is located at, it's really easy to just get some paint that's the color that you want and do this design on your wall. Now, if you don't own the property that your store is located at, but you still really wanna do this, it's still fairly easy to do it and frankly quite low in price as well. So the first thing that you'll need to do is just get the white self-adhesive wallpaper from Amazon, which is should be right here. Um, this roll is like $7, as of course as you continue out in length, it'll get more pricey, but I think the highest price one that I saw was $16. Um, but yeah, so you'll get this, you'll get the paint colors that you want, and you'll just paint it, and then you'll cut it in the shapes of that, of the design that you want, and then you just stick it to the wall and then when it comes time to leave you just peel it right off the next thing that we're going to look at is this little potted plant right here the polka dot one it's so cute um with this one i was actually able to find the actual product um on a website it's from michael's but it is 89 dollars, which is a little bit pricey um even for me at least uh so if you aren't willing to pay that for it then you can always do this and just this is a pack of four um, of pots they're a little bit smaller than the one from Michaels but they're $25.19 and you just get white acrylic paint and you do the design on it and there you have it so the next thing that we're going to be looking at is the racks and the face out bars that are mounted on the wall and where you can get those from so Amazon sells a four pack of the face out bars for $25. And then they also have a two pack of the rails for $30. And then with the little shelf that's sitting on top of that, you can just go to any store locally, a Home Depot, something similar to that Lowe's, um, and get them to cut you a piece of wood basically. And with that, you just sit it right on top of the bars that you put in the wall. Okay, and then finally, we're going to be looking at this nesting display table that they have most of their products put on, a lot of their accessories, things like that. So I was actually able to find one that's really similar to this one in the picture on Etsy. It is around $700, but that's really not horrible for a display table at all. If you're not super crazy about the whole raw wood look and you still want something like this, I also found this one, which is the same price. It's just got the white legs, which give it a more cleaner modern look now if you really trust your DIY skills and you're not sure that you want to pay $700 for a set of tables this YouTube channel right here actually has two videos that I've seen where they show you how to make this and that is how you get this look on a budget let us know if you want more videos like this